Good morning, four minutes after 11 o'clock, and welcome, welcome to the warm-up with me, Alan Brazil, and the pork nicer alongside me. He's a little bit sheepish, let me tell you. <laughs> hey. He's a little bit sheepish this morning, let me tell what you. What do you mean, sheepish? There was a bit of a Thursday afternoon sesh. And I don't think he's over it just yet. Uh, I don't think I was there on Thursday. I think I was there on Wednesday, wasn't I? Oh, no, it was Thursday. You're absolutely right. It's Thursday, yeah. <laughs> and and I, it wasn't a session for me. I was oh, only... Oh, oh. Excuse me. I happened to be in the facility and I was visiting. I made a brief visit. That was all. To discuss today's show. No. Rubbish. Liar. Liar again. Oh, it's that's very you, nice, isn't it? It's taking you 90 seconds for your first porky. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you were right on it. Uh, no, I was not <laughs> right on it. Excuse <laughs> me. Oh, and I, did I join you for a long lunch later, did I? Uh, what, no. Whatever no. happened to the... Whatever happened to... I know I'm drinking bitter now. I'm not having three bottles of Chardonnay. Uh, what happened to it was that I stuck to the plan, uh, and I can say... And by the way, by the way, right... Uh, you know what's happening in the world today, don't you? The Holy what? Father is visiting Dublin, okay? Oh, yes. So I will say, you know, on the, you know, on the, on the, uh, life of the Holy Father. What, you're saying the Holy Father has nine pints of bitter? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying I just had a couple of pints and that was it and then I was off. Now, the thing is, Al, we'll talk about the football in a minute and I'm a bit upset with Jose Mourinho trying to, uh, make fools of the gentlemen of the press and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, the Pope is visiting Ireland today. Now... Let me tell you something you may not know. The last time the Pope visited Ireland, I think, was 38 years ago. And guess who was there to greet him as he got off the plane? Me. I got, what? I got blessed by the Pope. I, I got blessed by the Pope last time he was in Ireland. I'm not joking. I put my success... Well, what, what were you doing there? Let me tell you, I put my success in life... I thought you were a Scientologist. <laughs> no, I'm not a Scientologist, no. I put my success in... I bet you're very envious, aren't you? Because, of course, you're right. of the faith, and I'm not, you see. But I, I met the Holy Father. And, um... Um, I put the success of my life, which has been considerable in some aspects, <laughs> down to, down to meeting the Holy Father as a young man representing the um, regional press in Britain uh, when he landed in Dublin. And it was Pope John Paul II, I think. He was a goalkeeper, by the way, before he became the Pope. Did you know that? No. He played. Uh, he played a goal for uh, his local team in. Um... Latskin reserves. No, 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 no. This is this is when he was a priest in Poland, in somewhere like um, Katowice. Katowice. He was, I think, it was Katowice. And uh, and then, of course, when he became the pontiff, he had to give up playing football because it wouldn't look too good, would it? If you said, you know, look, what's, here's the team sheet, who's in goal, the Pope. Uh, it wouldn't uh, add up. However, he got off the plane. And he walked down the steps. It was an Aer Lingus plane. I noticed today, by the way, he's flying from Italy in an Alitalia plane. Uh, Ryanair have missed out there, haven't they? Because they should have been the carriers. Well, they're on strike, probably. <laughs> yeah, they could be. Yeah, they've got their pilots on strike in a lot of uh, European countries. Uh, but the Holy Pontiff, or the Pontiff, the Holy Father, came down the stairs of the plane, got to the bottom, knelt on his knees, kissed the tarmac, right, kissed the Irish soil, and then got up and well, then... That, that's quite normal, actually. Well, no... He, no, no, it, no, popes do that. It's quite normal. No, he was the first to do it. He was the first ever to do it. I witnessed it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And, uh, and then uh, he went on to Dublin Castle, where I was, and we were all in a line, and, and the Pope came along, you know, bless you, my son, but and all what that. Were you, why were you there? Were you the religious correspondent for no. the Express? No, 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 no. Well, I was, in those days, I was working for the Birmingham Evening Mail, and I was representative of the regional press for the United Kingdom and Ireland, OK? Because I was an outstanding young been, journalist. You've never been hmm? to church, ever. I have, yeah. I no, have. you have not. Al, Al, excuse me. I am a fellow and a friend of Chester Cathedral, OK? All right? All right? What are you laughing at? Chester I, Zoo? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I've given up supporting Chester Zoo because I don't think animals should be locked up anymore. But, um... The, the thing is, once you get best, blessed by the Pope, it changes your life. I mean, you've never, you, 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 you haven't been blessed oh, by oh, the Pope. How has it changed your life? Well, it gave me, you know, the, it gave me the, the, um, the spiritual will to devote my life to success, which is what I did. Sorry? What are you looking at? You've got some patience. Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know, honestly. But anyway, the point of the matter is, he's in Ireland today, and it's a big thing. They all love him there, and they love him around the world. So we wish them luck in that visit, OK? Now, Jose Mourinho. It's getting on my nerves, Al. Right. Uh, if Jose Mourinho says, I will meet the gentlemen of the press, who are the representatives of the club to the people... Uh, well, look, what are you laughing at? Well, <laughs> sorry, you know, I'm trying, to I'm trying to take this seriously. Well, hey? we're eight mm -hmm. minutes after the living yeah. already. Yeah. Alan, mm -hmm. he said... Mm. He's, 
he's yet another lie, he said. Yet Rubbish. another lie from Paddy. Rubbish. He was in the crowd and never actually met the Pope. He's I did. already been found out no. by MG. No, 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 no. MG's tried to make up stories about me, but they, they don't get away with it. I, I tell you what, here, two years later, right, he came to England, the Pope, right, and uh, and, and that was slightly more difficult. He, he got off the um, helicopter at Heaton Park in Manchester, and a colleague of mine, who was the editor of a national newspaper, fell to his knees in a very expensive suit. Honestly, he said, oh, holy father, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, but, but, you know, yeah, um, people can get that. Look, I don't want to get, I don't want to get into it, mm, mm. but uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of very, very angry people around. Well, and I don't know how you, I don't know how he's going to, you know, well, I, don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Well, that's, that's, that's why well, I think he gets out and about. Hey, uh, Josie, that you were talking about Josie. Yeah. By the way, on that occasion, right, I uh, wrote this story and I said, you know, the banner that summed it all up was held up in the crowd. Bishop of Rome, your home. That was in Liverpool. OK. The problem was they couldn't get a picture of the banner. And why? I, it didn't exist, unfortunately. And I, uh, you know, I, I just thought it'd make a great headline. You see what I mean? So when I said, you know, the banner that proclaimed it all was Bishop of Rome, your home, then, of course, the picture desk were under pressure from the editor. Get a picture of that banner. So I had to say, well, I think they filled it up and took it away uh, just after I saw it or something like that. That's the way it went in those days. Now, getting to Jose. So if you call... A meeting. Oh, but by the way, Blassie's gone from Everton on a season-long loan to yeah. Villa. Yeah, well, we knew that. We knew he was going to do that. And that's good for the boy, good for Villa, good for Everton. Um, How's it good for Everton? Sorry? How's it good for Everton? Well, it's good for Everton because you haven't then got a player knocking on the door all the time saying, you know, give me playing so you time you, and all you, that kind you, of stuff. So you don't want competition. Is that what you're saying? You do want competition, but you don't want unrest or dissatisfaction in the dressing room. Now, talking about unrest and... Tell you 